Good morning, everyone. This is Bishop Deb coming to you live from Niagara on the Lake, Ontario. I am sitting in the car looking at the lake. And this morning, Toronto is across the lake just as clear as day. The waves are churning and birds are flying, and at 7 o'clock in the morning, it, it really is a beautiful sight. Nobody else around but me. I like to come down here most mornings just to begin my day with a prayer and kind of ground in what's to come. Days are busy, and you know as well as I do that our best plans in the little tick box of things to do often goes crazy by 9 a.m. And sometimes we get a chance to get back to it by later in the afternoon, but things are busy. I've been so struck with the number of people who are having difficult times right now. People really experiencing challenges to their health, to their finances. In so many ways, life is just challenging and hard. And if you're in that place this morning, know that you are not alone. That there are forces at work for good that will help you. I really believe that what comes to us is an opportunity for us to grow in our lives and in our understanding of the world. I wish it could be some way else sometimes. But going through difficult times is it shows us what we're made of, doesn't it? It shows us how strong we are. We, we find reserves of strength and, and wisdom and patience and courage that we wouldn't otherwise know we had. So being challenged in life, as hard and as difficult as it can seem, when you take a big step back and you look at the picture, look at how you responded, and try to get an idea of where the road is going, it can be an eye-opening experience. It can be a empowering experience. So today know that you are not alone, that you have forces around you eager to help. We have angels. We have a loving God. We have love that comes to us uninvited, often unknown, always supportive. And so today, try to tap into that. If you're reeling or overwhelmed or not sure where to put your foot next, just stop and take a deep breath. Even if you don't believe in angels, call on them. And trust that some good will come. Something good will happen today say that over and over. Something good happens today. I am worthy. Help comes when I ask. Those little affirmations said over and over again can shift your mood and change the force of that which is you're encountering. When we change our mind and our attitude, then we're more able to see the good that is actually there. So this morning, it's my prayer that everyone hearing this, having a difficult day or a difficult time in their lives, will feel a bit in encouraged because you have everything you need. You might not feel like it, but you do. Know that you're not alone and that you have people in Niagara-on-the-Lake praying for you, holding you in high regard, cheering you on. Let's pray. Gracious God, I give you thanks for this wonderful new day, this canvas on which I can express myself. I ask your help for those things that are troubling me and concerning me today. I ask for helpful people, for situations to be transformed, to change for the better. I ask for guidance 
for answers to my questions. I ask, I ask for a miracle. I ask that things change so dramatically and so drastically for the better that I will have no doubt that you are with me always. Help my family and friends who are in difficulty. Help this world that is so broken. May love sweep through this planet. May love cradle this planet. May love cradle me in my life. And may I know that I am okay and that all is well. Thank you, gracious God, for all the blessings that are here, for all the good things that are here, and for those that will come. Help me have eyes to see them this day and to remember to always give you thanks. In the name of your loving Son, Jesus, I pray. Amen. Well, thank you, everyone, for joining me for this short time of reflection. I pray that you have an excellent day, and we'll talk to you again soon. Blessings.